Hello my friends, uh, this is Gabriel. I want to keep this video as short as possible because I'm busy, <laughs> but at the same time I feel it's only fair to comment on things that are that have to been going on the last few days. Not so much because I have a bit more to say about these things than others, but more so that I don't create with my silence any delusions about how things are going and how they are affecting my projects and myself. So stay a while and listen. So you don't get bored too much, you can see pictures uh, of my work from the new project I've been working on for 8 months and hopefully you will be able to see it in full glory in some time. So, there's no point in reminding what is actually being discussed. New guidelines about uh, uh, Game Workshop's IP, which are, let's say, at the best, somewhat unfortunately uh, written, but mostly too vaguely, and can mean a thousand and one things. I was a big shock when I first saw them, as I couldn't find any real strategy behind this turnaround. But who am I to understand the working of large companies? Okay. On the other hand, it really looks like even GW has uh, no idea inside themselves what their new rules mean, what they are affect uh, and what they can affect. Maybe a few people knows, but they certainly haven't informed others. It's it's total mess. Uh, I like to add a few things through. The first is, yes, Game Workshop is absolutely right for such a legal move. There is no dispute about that and if we want to resolve anything, we need to acknowledge this reality. But the question is, whatever is uh, this the right move, whatever it was well thought, and how much any part of uh, GW agrees or disagree with it. The second thing is, what do we actually know? All we know is a few lines on the official website, but no official statement has been issued. No information passed by GW members directly to the animators or other fan creators since the new directions. Time will tell all of this. For now, uh, for how little information we actually have on what's going on, a huge storm has been unleashed. Unfortunately, I'm a little afraid uh, it's just a storm in a glass of water. Firstly, because there is no information, so there are for sure mistakes and assumptions. And also because people will get tired of their anger and a few weeks they won't have the strength to do anything. The third thing is uh, I want uh, I want to mention that things can change. I think this was an unfortunate move from GW and GW will kind of uh, regret uh, this and try to correct it. But uh, but uh, they won't do it uh, alone. They, they they won't do it alone. Communication has to happen. I understand that swearing on the internet in the righteousness anger for the emperor has its charms, but hand on the heart, guys, I'm not so aware that uh, this kind of behavior is uh, led to anything. And if anything, just usurping power and getting your way without long term stability. I don't want to be uh, and I will never be part of the mob that lynch, uh, fairly or not, someone, someone else, whatever individual or, or corporate. That is my nature. However, however, I like to debate, I like to agree and disagree, but within the framework of polite, agile con conversation. And that is what I encourage you to do as well, my dear brothers in Warhammer. I I really think that you can uh, call you can call me dreamer, but I really think that if we want to change these new rules, we need to communicate with GW. It will take some times, but I really think it is one of the best options. Let's realize that GW and the Warhammer community community must live in a certain symbiosis. There always uh, will be some friction points, but we have to maintain in a certain balance. 
An example of this is a heavy monetization on IP of GW assets. Uh, everything has its limits, guys. And in the past few years, two's limits, let's be honest, have indeed been crossed several times. But uh, that's why I understand that Game Workshop wants to step in and guard their ground. Because some balance has been disrupted. But uh, the same thing uh, is now happening from GW sites. There is difference between saying you can't make living of our property that doesn't belong to you and is difference to say no individual can sneeze without our license. That's why I'm afraid that unless there is some communication between the community and GW, the extremes will only escalate and the whole community will be damaged again. And enough damage has already been done. See a lot of creators uh, uh, are quitting or suspending their work. People don't want to sus sus uh, subscribe on Warhammer Plus now because their favorite creators was damaged. Uh, some people already quit the hobby and so on. So what is the solution in my opinion? Ask, question, uh, ask questions, uh, talk about it, keep calm, try to negotiate uh, for the benefit of the community but, as, uh, but at the same time respect GW. Use the internet to find official contacts on them, send emails, text, call, ask for more information and where there is more information uh, ask if they could if they could be changed you come up uh, come up with some arguments uh, try find a way all of this will create some pressure inside gw which will result in their meetings discussion uh, whatever uh, and they will discuss if is this good move or don't uh, and what to do next however this pressure must not be in the form of some insults of harassment. The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Hence of it. They are only humans. Most of them don't even work in the legal department. And even if they, uh, if they did, it's a human it's a human thing to be wrong. Yeah, uh, this pressure also needs to be applied for some times to let uh, GW knows that we don't want this change and as a community we want to retain the ability to create fun stuff. Even animation. We can talk about uh, whatever or not is appropriate to monetize YouTube channels. For example, I never done this, yeah. Uh, or if it's fine to have Patreon, and if so, what size of it and under what conditions. But is uh, un un immediately the destructive to essentially ban fun works, and we need to remind uh, Game Workshop of that. Uh, let, let's not worry about it. It's our hobby and there is nothing wrong with asking questions and making requests uh, as uh, we are their customers. Soon, hopefully, we know more and the debate can truly really start and get going. But I repeat, this is not a job for individuals, but for the whole uh, community. And now for the, uh, for the end, uh, maybe just a few more sentences about my work. For now, I still continue to work on my project because uh, GW, however I much I respect them, cannot forbid me to create animation in my private time and in my home for my personal purpose. The question is how the rules will be set so I can put the new project out publicly. Uh, and for the free for Warhammer fans. That's why I continue to work even though the animations are forbidden. I've spent eight months working on the projects so far and I'm about uh, halfway, I think. Uh, the project is big and the project footage will be long as well. I'm not going to quit my job because these uh, of those few sentences on the internet uh, when I don't have more official information regarding what is actually means it and how these rules are applied. I remain on standby with the others and wait uh, Game Workshop's statement. But yes, it's true. Uh, lots of creators are not uh, are not throwing the towel to the ring and trying to communicate with GW and fight solid ground uh, to to find solid ground again and continue uh, 
continue their work and hobby. So if you are also a fan of my work, uh, consider putting your hand to the work uh, and instead the righteous anger on the internet, engage uh, in the discussion with GW and create the, that pressure to, to change for the better. This, uh, this makes it very likely that I will eventually be able to get my project out of there among you. Finally, I would like to add that uh, GW has so far never contacted me. I do animation as an amateur in my spare time at home. I do most of the stuff myself, but I get help from a lot of other great people, uh, be it with music, voice or just an opinion. I am really not self-made man and other creators helps me, inspire me and so on. I don't do this. Don't do this for a living. Uh, my YouTube uh, YouTube channel is not monetized. It's a simple passion for me uh, to create and tell stories. And no, I don't plan to work for GW, as I love my real job and full-time animating job is not realistic for me in the next few years, definitely. And I will be honest, as uh, much as I. I really try respect uh, GW, this kind of transgressions only discourage me from working for, for them. Maybe I uh, try to appear uh, as impartial as uh, possible for, some hard, some, for somebody. But trust me, it's hard because I'm incredibly sad, I, I'm incredibly sad uh, by the demise of some creators and possibly demise of others. And also a sort of uh, a sort of betrayal from GW, who has long benefited from the fan works and more than once uh, throw them overboard. Uh, which I keep saying, I think, uh, I hope uh, that will prove to be mistakes and things will change. It also kind of took away my enjoyment for Warhammer now as well. Just uh, about. <laughs> it's funny because uh, now I ordered a few, few, some time ago, I ordered my first A brush and I was about to get some proper models for it. And now nothing. <laughs> now the dust is going to fall on it because uh, it took some time before I find the desire again to do some stuff. Anyway. I'm continue in my project as long as possible. I'm trying like others to change the direction of this and I ask you to please uh, try to do so in decency and humanity as well. And uh, that's all. Uh, thank you all for your time. If you want to leave a comment, do it. If you like my ideas, share them with others, talk it. Uh, for sure, thank you very much for your support and as always, Stay safe, brothers. Gabriel out.